everyone, I'm Holly and I'm here to make Bite Me Soap. And this fragrance is a fizzy orange cherry type scent, very similar to Hawaiian Punch. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in the coconut milk. We'll get that blended in. And then for the lye solution. My base oils are a mixture of olive and coconut and castor and cocoa butter. I have a very simple but well-loved recipe. And now I'm going to blend it to about emulsification. I'm going to be doing more blending, so I just want to emulsify it so I have the time to pour off and color and all the things. This is looking pretty good. I have some 5,000 ml pitchers here, and I'm going to probably pour out about 4,000 ml. Put that where I can see it. This batch separates fairly evenly into these pitchers, but we'll see what it goes to. This is a little smaller batch, so <laughs> I have improperly measured. To this one over here, I'm going to add some activated charcoal. I'm hoping I mixed up enough because I do want it black. And then I'm going to put in some beautiful purple. This is um, let me think. Queen for a day. It's kind of like a, a neon mica blend. This one is going to be orange. This is Eye of the Tiger. These are all nurture, except for the charcoal. The charcoal is from Mad Micas. And then the green is Force of Nature. I usually do more of a black on this, but I decided that these other colors would be really fun to be a little bit more prominent. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the fragrances. And this is Bite Me from um, Indigo. And I'm just going to give them a blend.
looks like a nice black. Right now this is really thin, but I do believe the Bite Me does accelerate just a little bit. It may be that this version doesn't, but we'll see. This one is starting to get it a nice tray. So I think we're gonna be good to go ahead and start pouring. This is definitely thickening up already. So I'm gonna put in a layer of black on the bottom. I'm going to do purple next. I just want to do stripes, strips, I don't know, pour <laughs> back and forth until it's pretty much gone. Whoops. And do the green next. It's good that it's thickening up like this because if it's too thin, those colors will overblend, and these colors are just gonna go brown really together. Now we'll do the orange. It's getting pretty thick here. Hopefully it'll be just fine. Oh, these are such fun colors, aren't they? I just love it. I love it. Now I'm just going to pour on the rest of this black. And get a little bit more out of this picture. So now I'm going to take my hanger tool from Nurture Soap and I'm going to go down to the bottom, but I'm just swirling. And then I'm going to kind of go the opposite direction in the middle and then let me think here for a second I think I'm going to just go all the way down and all the way up good now I'm just going to drizzle on 
what's left in the pitchers. So I think this just looks so fun. I love how it turned out. The splattery top I think just goes really well with this um, scent and the colors and the design and everything. So I'm so pleased with this one. It's looking great. Oh, my hands are so tired. That was a lot of scraping. All right, so I'm just loving how this turned out. It looks so good. It's exactly as I'd hoped. I'm looking forward to seeing the swirl inside, hopefully. I didn't overdo it, but we'll see. So here we have the Bite Me Soap, and I'll see you back here for the cut. It's time to cut this Bite Me Soap. I really couldn't be more pleased with it. It looks so good. I adore it. Now the sides aren't that interesting because the sides, you know, show the movement this away, this away of the hanger tool. But the inside, is super spectacular that's the swirly swirly part so let's get this cut i really love how it turned out without the black being just the main color and just part of the color this time <laughs> i love seeing each loaf i've cut two loaves so far and my swirl really did work out for me this time isn't that awesome? It's so cool. So let's see. That's the same. Oh, I guess I'm going this way on the tray. All right, let's just pick a different spot. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at that. It's perfect. Perfect and beautiful. I just adore it. Now, I believe, let me see, this orange is a little bit duller right there, but I do think it is punching up as it kind of like dries out a little bit. Oh, these are all so good. I can't sit and show you every one of them or else that would take forever and my back would hurt too much. <laughs> but the really crazy swirled and it worked out perfect you know sometimes especially me I swirl with the hanger tool and I'm like well I don't know but this one worked out and this scent is just so like fizzy it's it's hard it's hard to explain how they can manage to get a fizzy in a fragrance but they do so here we have, oh see, I went and did it again. I always do this. There we go. That'll work. That will work. I guess it probably would help if I moved up just a little bit, huh? So this is still a really cool swirl, but not quite the same caliber as the last loaf. That's cool though. Oh, I didn't finish. I didn't finish cutting the last loaf either. I'm just getting too excited. So see, still a great swirl, just not the exact most amazing as this, as the last loaf. But still quite beautiful. And that's just part of working in the really big um, slabs. There's always a difference between the inside loaves and the ones that are getting closer to the edge, etc. 
That one's neat. I like that one. That's cool. I know you guys see all sorts of like shapes and faces and such in these soaps, which is always so cool. I don't always see it right away. Like, um, I recently put up the Fruity Loops soap test one, and a lot of you saw roses and tulips and that's just so cool Ooh, that one's a neat one look at that that's cool that is cool now bite me is not a personal favorite scent though it is well loved and admired among the masses it's not my absolute favorite but Wowza, this one is smelling so good. This batch is just... Oh boy, here we go. We didn't quite... I did not leave myself enough room. So this one will probably end up just being cut up into samples because we could probably bevel the bar and plane it, but I don't know. It's always just a little bit weird. So we may just make samples from that one. Of course, I could always make it a Gone Wonky, I suppose, as well. And the Gone Wonkies, if you don't know those, there's just bars that don't quite make the cut. I like this black area right there. Isn't that cool? Anyway, they're just bars that have mostly a design flaw. Maybe an air pocket. Maybe they're just a little bit underweight. Um... Sometimes maybe the swirl, like it's missing a color in that section, etc. So they're fine to use and quite amazing bars, but sometimes they just don't make the cut. So we usually sell them at just a slightly reduced weight or price, I should say. Oh, this is cool. I don't know what this is. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. They're on the edge. I think I've learned that if I just hold things up to the camera and be patient that it will actually focus. Sometimes I, I hold it for a moment but not long enough so I'm trying to hold them longer so the camera has more time to work. Okay so let's move on to the last loaf. I'm loving this. Loving it. I feel like I keep shifting. All right, I'm trying, going to try to take off less here so that I get that last bar. It really is critical to, to not take very much off this first strip here. Whew. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. Yep, that one's pretty cool. Started to get a little overly blended right there. I'm pretty sure you guys are focusing cool beans. I love it. Ooh, this one is mostly black again on this very end. Look at that. That's cool. I actually really like that. But at least we still have the orange on this side. Sometimes when I'm pouring, I don't always get exactly to each edge. I've noticed that about myself, so I shall try to remedy that. I do not know why, but I'm getting the like um, the old lady from oh gosh, what is that movie? The uh, Emperor's New Groove, I think. I don't know the the old lady is she supposed to be a witch? It's been forever since I've watched that movie. Kronk is my favorite. I love Kronk. <laughs> uh, squeakers. <laughs> love that part anyway that reminds me of her for some odd reason well now I might have to go back and watch the movie and see why it does remind me of her ooh this one's cool I'm loving that nice so yeah I'm super pleased with it um, I did a, a kind of a similar get up with my strawberries and champagne soap 
where I pretty much, in that case, I exactly split the batch up into four equal parts. I don't think I did that this time. It's been, it's literally only been not that long ago, but I can't remember <laughs> making this batch, so I'm going to have to go review a few things. Um, but I'll go get a, one of those bars and I'll show you what that same basic swirl looks like in a different design, different colors I should say. But we'll finish this one up. Ooh, I like this one. These last bars do tend to have more of the black. Ugh, this one has more of the purple and the green and the orange instead of the black and that's still amazing. Alright, well, I did not line these up very well because normally, you can't really see, but I normally can put four bars here sideways so I may have to reshift because I do have the four bars left. So here's the strawberries and champagne soap bar doing the same general swirl with the hanger tool. I think it really turned out great. I love it. Okay, so there we have it. I had a few bars cleaned up to take the pictures. This is the Bite Me Soap. I hope you love it. I know I do. And thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.